everybody. We're going to start the recipe by preparing the chicken. I have a mallet here and I have a piece of plastic. We're going to take our chicken breast before we cut them and we are going to tenderize them just a little bit, not too much. They're going to be nice and thin so you can get two pieces out of this. Of course, I'm making this for my family size. You're going to use however much chicken you need. Okay, remember we are not going to save the plastic. It's no good because it is chicken. So just chunk it. Okay, and then we're going to slice these up into two portions. Just try to get equal portions. We're going to set this aside, move that out of the way. We're going to bring in our flour. Here I have some flour. I will have the recipe and everything listed below, guys. I have some kosher salt and some freshly ground pepper. Now, what I like to do with the pepper so that you don't see all the, the black speckles, I also like to use white pepper. So, I like a lot of pepper in this recipe. I just put a little scoop of that in there gives it really good flavor. Okay, and then we're just going to incorporate this, whisk it, everything is nice and mixed. And you don't need a lot of flour for this, this is just a little, a light coating. See how sometimes the pepper stays on one side, you want all this mixed up real good. Okay, and then we just take our chicken pieces and just dredge them into the flour. See, it's very, very light coating. And then just shake off the rest. I'm going to pop y'all over to the stove. This is what they look like. Very light coating of the seasoned flour. We are going to start to fry these up. Alrighty, we are going to use this cast iron skillet. You can use a regular pan if you prefer. We're going to add some butter and we are also going to add some good olive oil. About two tablespoons. We're going to wait till this is hot. And we have our chicken. Okay, and then we're just going to pop it right on in. And this is a big enough cast iron to fit all four pieces, but if you have a small one, just do two pieces at a time. Don't crowd your skillet. And it's just going to take about three to four minutes per side. The breast is thin and it cooks a lot faster than the thighs. And over here, I'm going to show you, I have some water getting ready to boil for some noodles that I'm going to serve alongside of the chicken. And you can use whatever noodles you prefer. I like to use the angel hair pasta for this. Okay, now once you see that they're nice and toasty, give it a flip and let it cook on the other side. been frying up for about four minutes per side. I'm going to take the pieces out and they will continue to cook in the sauce so I don't want to overcook them so you don't want your chicken breast dry. Okay, so now we are going to add in our mushrooms. I turned down the heat because the skillet was very very hot and what we are going to do is melt a little bit more butter and just sprinkle a little bit of olive oil and throw in our mushrooms, okay? We're gonna let these cook down until real nice and brown. We're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of salt so that the mushrooms can let out all their moisture and start to brown. These are cremini mushrooms. You can use whatever mushrooms you prefer. Okay, we're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of salt. Mushrooms have cooked down quite a bit. And I just have the fire at a medium and letting them saute slowly. We don't want them to burn. At the same time, I'm scraping up all the little brown bits from the bottom of our skillet. Lots of flavor there, guys. Don't forget that. That's why you don't want it to burn. Now, we are going to add our garlic. 
and the garlic, we're just going to saute it lightly just to where you smell the garlic and then you, we're going to add the rest of our stuffing. Because you do not want that garlic to burn. Okay, that's good there. We are going to add our chicken broth. We're going to add the chicken broth first and let that reduce just a little bit. We're going to bring this up to the boil and we're going to let it reduce just a little bit. Okay, this has finally hit the boiling point. So I just turned down the heat just a little bit just so that it doesn't boil over. And I'm going to let this reduce about 25% or so before we put in our masala wine. We're going to season to taste for the last time. Because we haven't put any, any salt or pepper in this mixture here. Okay, I've reduced the temperature of the fire uh, quite a bit. This had hit the boiling point. I'm gonna let this reduce about 25% or so. And we're gonna be adding some salt and pepper after we reduce it, okay? We're gonna let this go for a few minutes and then we will add our marsala wine, which I have right over here. I'm gonna get our noodles ready. Okay, this is reduced. We are gonna now add our marsala wine. And we're gonna let that cook down for a little bit. I'm gonna raise the heat a little bit. We're gonna sprinkle in some parsley in a minute. I'm gonna give this a taste. Yep, we're gonna need a little bit of salt and some pepper. Lots of pepper. This dish goes well with pepper. Okay. And there's the parsley. Fresh parsley for this, guys. That's the best. Right, the sauce has reduced enough. I am going to add my chicken back in there. Turn down the heat just a little bit. Look at how yummy that looks. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna let this simmer for just a moment. I tested the temperature of the chicken, so I know that it's cooked all the way, but I'm just gonna let it simmer for just a moment to warm up the chicken. Okay guys, this is ready. I'm gonna turn it off, and I'm gonna go ahead and plate it. I'll see you back on the counter. All right guys, here is the whole thing here. I made some angel hair pasta. And what I do is I just put some in a bowl or a plate, whatever you prefer. Spread it out a little bit. And then I just take my chicken, get a piece, put the chicken on top, scoop up some mushrooms and sauce, and put it all the way around. Okay, and then I just sprinkle some more fresh parsley just to give it some nice look. And look at that. I wish that y'all could smell this. Delicious. Okay, guys, we're going to give this a taste. It smells delicious. I wish we had smell-o-vision. Let's go ahead and get a taste. I get a little bit of the noodles, piece of mushroom, and a little piece of chicken, which I already cut. Mmm. 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 Oh, this is so delicious, guys. I really think you would enjoy this. I mean, it's so creamy from the sauce and the, the chicken is cooked just right. The noodles are perfect. Like I said, add whatever noodles you like. If you want some fettuccine, you could even put some uh, shells or something. It's whatever you like. Keep it the way you like it. It's your kitchen. Okay, guys. That's going to conclude the video for today. I sure hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making it for you. And don't forget, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I will get back with you. The recipe will also be listed in the description bar. And any items that I use will be listed down below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. We'll talk to you all later. Bye.